Everyone likes a freebie, and Cool World Victoria Island, in partnership with Haya Thermocool and UBA trustees, decided to do something nice for their wonderful customers. We're live here at Adiola Lagos in Victoria Island, Lagos, at the Cool World Electrical Retail Stores, where you get more for less. Now, what happens is that you spend over 50,000 naira and more, and you stand a chance of winning instant prizes and way from it, 2 million naira, guys. So why exactly did Cool World decide to give out so much? EL Now presenter Cynthia Kamalu gave the assembled guest a bit more detail and kind of got that party vibe going. Well, start shopping and let's see how it goes. Okay, so when you shop, you know, 50,000 euro or more, you stand a chance of participating in the raffle draw, and then who knows, at the end of the month, you just might win something. So if you're shopping, you know, just let me know. Hit, hit. And maybe, you know, I could just side eye, put your name inside, and uh, at the end of the month, something will be coming into your pocket. And then it was time for the raffle draw. Like, I you were going to be happy. Alright, <laughs> uh, I think we are good. Oh. And one winner after another came up to get their lucky prizes. All in all, it was a very rewarding time, especially for the winners who walked away with wonderful cash prizes. Keep your eyes peeled for more wonderful opportunities, guys. You never know when another chance might come your way. Interesting news now for anyone who owns a small or medium-scale enterprise. According to Ventures Africa, about 300 SMEs are expected to meet up in Dakar, Senegal on the 11th and 12th of November for a networking and solution creation event organized by the Africa SME Champions Forum. Specialist recruitment agency Afrique Search, the African Guarantee Fund and the Pan-African Bank Ecobank are also co-organizers of the event. Founder of Africa Search Didier Akute informs us that the forum will be the first direct access platform to finance for the SMEs. There will be lots to enjoy from the meeting, such as masterclasses, customized consultancy spaces to bring together high-quality experts, and a mentoring program. Didier Akute is quoted as saying, The idea is to bring together at a single location an entire range of tools, networks and services dedicated to SMEs to allow them to put in place on their return the methods shared by the community of the Africa SMEs Champions Forum. The SMEs to benefit from this are going to be very carefully selected using strict parameters. They must be officially registered in Africa, have been legally created at least three years ago, have a turnover of at least $1.5 million and a minimum workforce of 10 employees. Sounds like an awesome opportunity, and if you feel your company qualifies, go ahead and register on the forum website. You never know, you might be Africa's next great success story. now good news for tech entrepreneurs everywhere with the news that Nigeria is almost set to launch its government-seeded IT innovation fund with plans to invest in not just Nigerian but African startups. Tech Cabal, which brings us the story, shares that the Nigerian government has committed $9 million as seed capital to this fund to be managed by ECOVC. The seed fund has been a long way coming with the idea raised as far back as 2012. The story takes from Nigerian ICT minister's speech at Demo Africa 2014. In that speech, the minister, Mrs. Omobola Johnson, referenced a report predicting that the internet could contribute up to 300 billion US dollars to Africa's GDP by 2025. This is up from an estimated 18 billion in 2013. Sounds like a great idea. We all know that the future of technology is literally here as far as Africa is concerned, and it's in everyone's best interest to get a foot in now.